That's why I'm saying, well, I can't afford it because I don't want to go lower than a thousand. You see what's happening there? It's called anchoring. Do you put a number down first? Who wins? Who says it first or who says it second? Second. Second, second, second. Anybody say first? Okay, this is what we're all taught. Car dealership, how much, you, how much a car costs? Right. So I can then go and lowball you, right? Well, I thought that too, until I read this book that told me that was backwards. <laughs> Whoever says it first wins. I was just thinking about a situation I had, a client asked me, so how much did you charge for this? And I gave them a low number. And then when I asked a mentor how much should I have charged, they were like, double that. Okay. And I mean, it was true based on the amount of work that I did. Okay. So I know for the future, at least by personal experience, start high. Anna, how long have you been running your business? Um, a year. <laughs> a year. Okay. You've been in business for a year. And um, you, I don't know if you know this, but I do business coaching one-on-one, -on -one, right? Mm -hmm. I charge $1,000 an hour, mm -hmm. but I'm going to help you out. How much can you afford? Realistically, I can't afford it. Not at all? Monetarily. I'm going to give you the best price in the world. I normally charge $1,000 an hour. How much can you afford? Zero dollars. Really? <laughs> Forget about it. What I was trying to prove to you is as soon as I say $1,000 an hour, what are you doing in your mind? You're like, oh my God, that's a lot of money. If I say 400, I thought that was a lot, but now I can't say it relative to 1,000. Well, so that's, that's why I'm saying I can't afford it because if I know that you're charging 1,000, that means you're worth I mean, I'm thinking, oh, okay, he must be worth a thousand. Oh, I'm worth more than that. That's well, a yeah, but price. I'm saying, so that's what, that's why I'm saying, well, I can't afford it because I don't want to go lower than a thousand because. You see what's happening there? It's called anchoring. Whoever says the number first, right. you're thinking about that number, right? Yeah. I'll give you another example. A client did this to me one time. Okay. He said, Chris, oh, you know, I don't think we can afford you. I'm like, okay, this is weird. Uh, and I'm even embarrassed to ask you, but there's somebody in your network and they design our identity system. Let me try and find somebody in my network. So I go to Ben Burns and say, Ben, you know, I really want to do this project with this guy. He's super cool. We need to develop a relationship with them. I want to do that. Ben's like, ask for 15, right? Ask for 15. I'm like, no, dude, he said he can't afford this. He told me 10 is what he's got. And then I went home and I was thinking about it. I'm like, damn it. He just dropped an anchor on my face and I fell for it, <laughs> right? So I let it chill out. The effects of the anchor have wore off me. I sent him an email and said, look, I can help you find it for 10, but if you want me to do it, I can do it for 30. <laughs> See, so I ignore the anchor. I chop that thing off. I drop a new anchor, 30. He's like, no, 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 we can't afford this. We can't. I'm like, I, I knew it. Okay, fine. I'll help you find somebody, okay? And he says, sure, I would appreciate that. And then because now it's dropped to my super low priority list, a couple days go by, I'm like, oh, that email, I need to refer somebody to this guy, right? I gotta find somebody. I'm writing the email and I'm just like, oh, okay, I'm gonna introduce you to this person and here's their phone number and, and then bloop, in my inbox. Chris, we really thought about it. We totally wanna work with you. We'll make the money work. Let's get really creative on this. I like delete the email, <laughs> right? New anchor. So there's, there's this thing called heuristics, and it's just a shorthand for you to remember things. So whatever you say first, people get stuck on. So when a client goes in and lowballs you, you kind of just ignore it. The one thing that you can do as a strategy is to say, that's not going to work. Can you come up with another number? So you let them negotiate against themselves. But you're stuck on the number. You can't even enter it because you get stuck on that number. So say your number first and say it high. Oh, we can yeah, oh, do yeah. it, I don't know. You want it again? Give me a second to set up, please. <laughs> Alright, right, action. Nice. Thank you. Nice. Uh -huh.